Today's task is building buildings. So we've got the layout baseboard here, got a track plan on it, this is built up in any rail and just printed off to scale. And today I want to start looking at mocking up the buildings, particularly focusing today on the workshop at the back there. Um, the aim of this is just to make it up roughly in some old offcuts of card or something like that to check that it actually looks okay, looks sort of in proportion with the rest of the layout and so on. So I've got a big stack of old cardboard down here and we also have normal ruler, scale ruler, knife, gaffer tape and a couple of pens just to sort of sketch doors and windows and that sort of thing. So the other bit I've got is my inspiration on the laptop here. I've got a few photos of Guildford Colliery from back in the day and some more modern ones as well. These are all mostly from the Subterranean Britannica site, which is sort of great for this sort of research. So I'm just going to get on with it, I think. So the first port of call is to take some measurements off the existing building. So this building still exists, um, but unfortunately I'm filming this during the COVID-19 pandemic, so I can't actually go and measure it up or anything like that. So the best photos I've got are these ones from the 90s. Um, most of these are from the Subterranean Britannica site, and hopefully I can use these to get the major dimensions. So the first thing I have to check is how big it actually is on my layout, which is 300 and something millimetres. I reckon that's 380 by 30 millimetres, so it's a fairly low relief building. Uh, the distance is, the length of the building has just changed slightly to fit the layout better. So, I'm not going to worry about the depth too much for now, but the height I'm going to measure with my scale ruler. So, that side is the scale ruler. A building height of actually let's not do it that way, let's do it this way. So I'm going to compare this building to the standard height person that's on here. Just resize the image a little bit until it fits roughly where I think it should. So I reckon that is about right for a normal height person on that building. Then I can flip it over and use the, um, the feet measurement in double O scale to measure the height at that point in the perspective, which is, I think, 26 feet to the roof. Yep, let's go with 26 feet. Sorry, not 26, 16. It's quite difficult trying to read a ruler from this far away. So, let's start translating this into cardboard. Let's use a pen I don't particularly need to use for anything else. Black one's very useful for covering people, so I want to try and save the ink on that if I can. So, let's put 16 feet on there. So here we go, nice blank bit of cardboard, roughly the right length, and about that tall. You can see nothing on this layout is going to be massively tall. Um, I think that helps to sort of disguise the fact that this back scene is actually quite low. Um, it's that the reason it's that low is so I can fit it under my bed for storage. Um, I haven't really got anywhere else to put this layout, so. I think trying to put in lots of tall buildings up here somewhere is just not going to look very good. So, and of course, when you scale it to the size of a double O person, I don't know how well you can see that on the screen. That's in here. That's actually still about three times the height of a person. So, not too bad, I don't think. So, let's start adding some features to it. You can see from the pathway here that I'm intending to have 
sort of door section here. Hopefully you can also see from the inspiration picture there is, or there was, a door there originally. So this building's been rebuilt several times since um, it was originally built in 1906 I believe. But you can quite clearly see here that there are lots of doors and windows that have been blocked in. So I can sort of steal the um, original locations of those. Um, there aren't, I haven't been able to find any photos of it sort of back in the day as it was, um, so I'm going to have to interpret from this the best I can. So, plunk that in place. Okay, that's the end of the exercise. So, first impressions. Length okay, number of windows okay, door okay, at both ends. Um, but I think if we compare it to our prototype over here, I think I've probably gone a little bit low on the overall height here. So the roof, the roof needs to slope back more, um, as well. So I can sort of wedge that in place like that. That looks a bit better. But yeah, I think this height needs to be a little bit higher. I think the building on here is very slightly longer than the original, so that's probably contributing to making it look a bit long and low rather than shorter and higher. I think we can probably add another centimetre or two to that to incorporate this sort of, not beading, what's the word, sort of section with bricks proud at the top here. Other than that I think concept proven. So good job for any rail there and yeah, I think I'd better get on with putting that into some proper card and plastic card and so on. I'm also going to model these two little buildings here because um, I haven't actually got prototype information at all for either of those so they're going to be very much made up on the fly and we can see how it starts to come together. So just a little midway through update um, from another building here so there's been a couple of iterations of this so far. The first one had the uh, roof going this way instead. I felt that didn't quite look right so I've swapped it to this way instead. That's the whole reason I'm doing this is to try and find these things out. I originally put a window on but I think it's going to look better without it. Mainly taking that from this building here. So we've got a vent in the end at the top. I know this isn't supposed to be this building, that one is, but Never mind. That's the sort of architecture we've got. So I think it's going to look better as a sort of plain end with just a vent and a door in it. Um, I think it's quite easy to overcomplicate things by just adding details, and in reality, they're actually fairly plain. So I've added that on. I've also um, reduced it in length this way a little bit. I felt it was too close to the other building. So if we stick that back there and hope it doesn't fall over. There's a little bit more clearance and so on now. They're all a bit bunched together beforehand. So the other thing, as you can see I'm starting work on the little workshop down the end here as well. And again, I've adjusted a couple of the thicknesses of that already, um, even though it's just a bit of card at this stage. So I'll keep working on that and we'll see what it looks like when it's done. Well, now we can see a bit more what we were aiming for originally. So I've got all three buildings done. I've added a little platform down here as well, and just to see how that's going to um, integrate into the mix. Um, so this building down the front here is sort of warehousing, stores, equipment type thing. Um, hence main doors on the access track with a platform next to it for easy unloading. 
Um, I've also added a second level to this one with a sort of ladder up and a bit of a gantry thing outside just to make it a little bit different from the other two buildings. Um, but doing the mock-up in cardboard has definitely helped here because it projects about maybe a third more than it does on the plan. So it comes out this way a little bit more, which sort of obscures the main line going behind it. Um, and I think that's going to make it look a little bit better when I'm actually finished. Um, so yes, yeah, stores, warehousing, whatever else. Process and building at the back we talked about a minute ago. And this building will get a little bit higher as well. So the main, the main workshop that will get a little bit higher, which will make sort of these two buildings look a little bit different from each other. Make this one look a little bit smaller. So overall, I think I'm fairly happy with this. Um, it's coming out roughly how I wanted it to, and I haven't had to make too many drastic changes. So. That's always a good thing.